You're going to need to know how to use JavaScript in order to get the most out of this course, and this particular movie will provide a, a brief refresher on working with JavaScript. Here's an example. This is just a page that says that its title is Using Buttons, and when you click, you'll see a message box displayed. You click here, and there you see a, a message box. Thanks for clicking. So this is just part of a review of working with JavaScript. The code for that particular page is very simple, but you have to know how this how this works before before proceeding. I mean, you need to know JavaScript, and so this is just part of a brief review. The controls, HTML controls in a web page, go into an HTML form element. And this is an input type equals button control to create a button. And on click, the on click event handler attribute is set to show alert, which is the name of the JavaScript function that will be called when the button is clicked. The value attribute sets the title, the caption of the button. So when the button is clicked, when the button is first displayed, it has the caption click here. And when it's clicked, the JavaScript show alert function will be called. So here is where you place your JavaScript in a script element inside the, usually inside the head element of the web page. And here's the script element starts with an opening tag script. The attribute language equals JavaScript shows the browser that you are going to be entering JavaScript code at this point. You create a JavaScript function with a function keyword. Show alert is the name of the function that's going to be called when the button is, is clicked. And so there you have show alert. And the arguments of the function are passed in these parentheses after the name of the function. The function body is enclosed inside curly braces like this. And the actual code for the JavaScript appears here. Alert. And that displays a message box with the caption, thanks for clicking. So as you see, you're going to need JavaScript in this course, and as you see, JavaScript is is just being covered in review here. You have a form, an HTML form, an input tag of type button with the caption click here for the button. When the user does click the button, the show alert function is called inside the JavaScript script element up here inside the which is itself enclosed in the head element of the web page. And there you have the script element, language equals JavaScript, function, show alert, that corresponds to the unclick attributes assignment there. And you have the actual body of the function inside curly braces, and you say alert, thanks for clicking. So that's the, that's the level of JavaScript that we're going to be using in this course. Here's another example. Click this page to turn it pink. And when I do click the page, as you see, it does turn pink. And again, that's JavaScript enabled, very short, very simple. Here you have a body tag and an on mouse down event handling attribute associated with a body tag. And you can closing the entire JavaScript in this quotation marks, document.bgcolor equals pink. So clicking this page will turn out pink. As you've seen, indeed, it does. And the reason is because the body tag has an on mouse down attribute that is connected to a JavaScript statement, document.bgcolor, that's the background color of the document, equals pink. So this is a very brief review of JavaScript. And as you see, it's most customary to keep your JavaScript inside a script element in a web page like this. And this is the kind of, this is the level of JavaScript you're going to need in order to profitably use this course. If you don't have that level of JavaScript, then you should probably take a look at a good JavaScript course before proceeding. But if you do understand what's going on so far in this JavaScript review, then you're willing, then you're ready to proceed and we'll be getting on to Ajax next.